friends welcome to our channel i am here with the fourth part of our accounting series video to compare debit versus credits topics to be covered defining debit and credit usage of debit and credit effect of debit and credit normal balances of accounts understanding debit versus credit debit means to receive or value received credit means to give or value given debits and credits in double entry bookkeeping are entries made in account ledgers to record changes in value resulting from business transactions a debit entry is an account represent a transfer of value to that account and a credit entry represents a transfer of value from the account each transaction transfers value from credited accounts to debited accounts debits and credits are entries that balance each other out consider that for accounting purposes each transaction must be exchanged for something else of the exact same value usage of debit and credit whenever an accounting transaction is created at least two accounts are always impacted with a debit entry being recorded against one account and a credit entry being recorded against the other account there is no upper limit to the number of accounts involved in a transaction but the minimum is no less than two accounts the totals of the debits and credits for any transaction must always equal each other so that an accounting transaction is always said to be in balance if a transaction were not in balance then it would not be possible to create financial statements thus the use of debits and credits in a two column transaction recording format is the most essential of all controls over accounting accuracy the effect of debit and credit on different accounts effect on asset accounts a debit increases the balance and a credit decreases the balance effect on liability accounts a debit decreases the balance and a credit increases the balance effect on equity accounts a debit decreases the balance and a credit increases the balance income or revenue accounts a debit decreases the balance and a credit increases the balance effect on expenses accounts in this account a debit increases the balance and a credit decreases the balance effect on gain account in this account a debit decreases the balance and a credit increases the balance effect on loss account a debit increases the balance and credit decreases the balance normal balances of different accounts assets have debit balances liabilities equity and revenues have credit balances expenses have debit balances asset accounts are debited and have debit balances liability accounts are credited and have credit balances equity accounts are credited and have credit balances revenue or income accounts are credited and have credit balances expense accounts are debited and have debit balances generally these type of accounts are increased with a debit dividends expenses assets and losses you might think de 
AL. When recalling the accounts that are increased with a debit. Generally, these type of accounts are increased with a credit. Gains, income, revenues, liabilities and stockholder equity. You might think of GIRLS when recalling the accounts that are increased with a credit. To decrease an account due to the opposite of what was done to increase the account. For example, asset accounts is increased with a debit, therefore it is decreased with a credit. And for a more clear view, let's see this graphical representation. Debit increases assets and expenses, but decreases liabilities, owners' equities and revenues. Whereas credit increases, liabilities, owner's equity increases, revenues, but decreases the assets and expenses. Just the opposite. That's all for this video. Join us on the next one to know more about basic accounting principles and conventions. Your feedback will be highly appreciated and will help us to improve the content. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for latest updates.